Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in today's video, we're discussing whether it's the time to buy a MIGA or a multi-year guaranteed annuity. Now, okay. we've seen annuity, annuity rates have been on the rise lately, and both the rise of the 10-year treasury notes and the Federal Reserve interest rate hikes can continue to help these rates even go higher. Yeah, Michelle, these higher rates we're seeing with annuities, including MIGAs, allow you to lock in an annuity with higher rates than most savings rates today. So if you're looking to put cash somewhere where you're guaranteed returns, or if you have an annuity contract coming due soon, you may want to keep watching this video. Um, also, make sure to watch some of our other popular annuity videos. We've put these links in the description below this video here. Awesome. All right. While we're plugging the channel, uh, if you like the content of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video from Brian or me. All right. So, Brian, before we talk about actual rates, let's back it up just a minute and quickly, a few, few sentences, uh, define a MIGA okay. for us. MIGAs, uh, like our annuity, other annuities, right, are a contract between you and an insurance company. They're a type of a fixed annuity that focuses on accumulation of savings versus creating an income stream. You'll usually see these, Michelle, run in a range of one year of MIGA up to a 10 years for most of them. And um, in simplest terms, you usually pay a lump sum of money to an insurance company and they give you a specified amount of interest for a certain number of years. For example, let's say you deposit $10,000 to ABC Insurance Company for the next five years and they guarantee you a fixed rate of 3%. At the end of the five-year period, you can take your money and run, renew it again at a new rate offered, or transfer it to maybe even a higher paying MIGA out there today, so. Okay, and so how are, I mean, got that. That's a great definition, thanks. How are they used? Um, they're mainly used, Michelle, for accumulating assets. Okay. Um, versus creating income streams for life, which most people associate annuities with a lifetime income. These are just for accumulation. They're often compared to CDs. Yes, I mean, you don't take a CD and turn it into an income stream, right? right. So MIGAs are very um, commonly referred to like a certificate of deposit in the savings account. So, Okay. All right. Let's talk rates, higher rates, and why someone might want to purchase a MIGA now because they're higher, obviously. <laughs> Then, as you said, they're, they're, they're higher than most savings rates that are found in the CD, in CDs and high yield saving accounts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Rates have moved up substantially. And I, I would tell you, these are some of the highest rates that I've seen in the last 10, 12, 15 years mm -hmm. in, in the MIGAs. So, so, for example, as of today's date, um, most MIGAs I'm seeing right now are ranging between 3% for three years to nearly 5% for 10 years. That's the highest we've seen for a long, long time. And of course, these rates may continue higher as the Federal Reserve tries to high, fight this high inflation that we have. High raising rates. Um, now, a, a little caution note here, you're not gonna beat inflation here with these right, rates. Right, those rates. Right. Okay, so because at 8.9, 8 9.1% 8 .9, inflation reads that we've been seeing with the CPI, you're looking at 3 to 5% on these annuities. Uh, but you won't be losing as much as sitting in cash. You know, cash, sitting in cash, earning nothing right now, and inflation's at 9.1, you're definitely losing money, okay? Um, if keeping your money safe, my guess, may be your best option right now. Okay. All right. So we've talked about the rates possibly going higher if the Fed continues to uh, raise 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 uh, interest rates. Do you think? I mean, do you expect these? Do you expect MIGA uh, rates to to rise with that, or how does that work? Also, like, does it take a little bit of time for those the rates to go up after a Fed rate hike? Well, possibly. Um, what we've seen here is I think we may have hit a short term top in these rates. Uh -huh. Okay. And the market is always ahead and they predict what the Fed's going to do. Okay. Sure. Like so the 10-year right? treasury has went above 3% multiple times. Okay. And, but then it pulls back. And I think we're at that stagnation point right now. We'll see what the Fed does um, at the end of the month at the July meeting. 
And if we move toward more towards a recession, we may see Federal Reserve have to lower rates or in the future to, to bring us back down. to a normal economy. So this is a vicious cycle back and forth. These are very good rates right now, the, the best we've seen in well over a decade, and um, but they can continue higher. So, All right. Awesome. Thanks for that, Brian. Appreciate it. If you made it to the end of this video, give us that like, please. It helps us grow the channel and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other annuity videos. And well, Brian and I are here to help you stop being a transaction and instead become an informed consumer. And that's what we put out videos about. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Brian. And thanks to everybody who watched. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.